Welcome to the power plant engineering lecture number 7 in this video i will explain you types of dam spillway and surge tank so the first topic is types of dam types of dam uh, first type is field dams in this uh, it is further explained in earth dam rock field dam second is the masonry dam masonry dam further explained in solid gravity dams buttress dam or arc dam third is the timber dam so so start with the first type field dams in this first point is earth dam earth field dam are also called abandonment dams these dams are filled up by compacting successive large successive layer of earth using the mo most in impervious material to form a core and placing more permeable substances on the upstream and downstream side a face facing of crust stone prevent erosions by wind and rain so this is the diagram in this uh, you can see uh, there is a wall in the middle this is the stone pitch and uh, in the left side you can see impervious material near wall and uh, at the bottom side and uh, this is the rocks so this is the earth dam next is the rock fill dam rock fill dam is a type of uh, abandonment dams which consists of compacting rocks of materials it is used in uh, mountainous location where rock is available this is the diagram for rock fill dam this is the membrane and uh, you can see uh, this is the dotted for rock fills and in the right side this is the working area including in this dam next type uh, is the masonry dam in this uh, it is for explain in solid gravity dam this is the first point this dam are massive and bulky and uh, depend upon its weight on stability this type of dams require strong rock foundation example bakran dams which is highest concrete gravity dam in asia and uh, second highest in the world this is the diagram for solid gravity dams next is uh, buttress dam it is a gravity dam reinforced by structural supports a uh, buttress dam or hollow dam is a dam with a solid water type upstream side that is supported at a at the interval on the downstream side by a series of buttress or supports the dam walls may be straight or curved most buttress dam are made of uh, reinforced concrete and are heavy heavy pushing the dam into the ground water pushes the dam again but the spots are inflexible and prevent the dam from falling over buttress uh, is a spot that uh, transmit a force from a rope or wall to other or another a sporting structure so this is the structure for uh, buttress dam as you see in the figure uh, as you see uh, this is the uh, sporting structure and uh, in the left side you can see a reservoir and uh, this is the dam for this is the buttress dam next point is the arc dam an arc dam is a solid dam made of concrete that is curved upstream in plane the arc dam is designed so that uh, the force of the water against it uh, resides against the arc compressing and strengthening the structure an arc dam is uh, most suitable for narrow walls narrow wall is with a steep wall of stable rock to support the structure and stress since they are thinner than any other type of dam 
they required much less construction material making them economical and practical in remote area next is the timber dam when uh, wood is available in plentiful and uh, more durable and height of this dam is lower than 12 meter next topic is spillway uh, a spillway is an internal part of the dam which is usually used to remove water from a reservoir to prevent overflow and uh, to release pressure on a dam from increasing quantity of water it is basically composed of three major components first is uh, approach facility it admits flow to the spillway structure second is the discharging conduct conduct it consists the flow from the approach facility to an outlet structure third is the outlet structure it is used to discharge the excessive flow to the outer part of the dam or uh, downstream side now uh, the parts of the spillway first part is overflow spillway they are also called s shaped spillway uh, this type of spillway allow the passage of flood uh, flood way over its crust which is s shaped it can be classified under control or uncontrolled uh, this type of spillway widely used on gravity arc and buttress dam this is the diagram for overflow spillway this is the s shaped spillway as you see in the figure next is shoot spillway this type of spillway are common and basic in design as they transfer excess water from behind the dam down a smooth decline into the river below the spillway slope and its sides are lined with concrete in case of heavy sufficient steep foundation condition at the spillway location this type of spillway may be used instead of overflow spillway due to economics consideration next is side channel spillway this type of spillway is employed employed when a valley is too narrow in case of solid gravity dams and when non rigid dams are adopted the side channel spillway is different from short spillway in the sense that after crossing over the spillway crust water flows parallel to crust length in former whereas the flow is normal to the crust in the latter next is siphon spillway in this type of spillway crust is fixed at full reservoir level when water level in the reservoir side rises over flow over full reservoir level water start flowing down over the crust so this is the diagram uh, for the siphon reservoir siphon spillway next point is the surge tank uh, the main purpose of the surge tank is uh, uh, it maintains the pressure i will uh, explain uh, surge tank in one word uh, this is the uh, it maintains a uh, pressure so surge tank uh, surge tank is a small reservoir or tank in which water level rises of or fall to reduce the pressure uh, swing so that uh, they can not transmitted in full to close circuit they reduce the distance between the free water surface and uh, turbine thereby reducing water harm water hammer effect the change in pressure rapidly above and below normal pressure caused by sudden change in the rate of water flow through the pipe according to the dam demand of the prime mover turbine prime mover is the turbine to serve as a supply tank to the turbine in case of increased load condition and storage tank in case of low load condition this is the diagram for surge tank in the left side water level reservoir uh, this is the dam and uh, 
this is the surge tank and uh, this is the tunnel uh, passing through the surge tank and uh, this is the pan stock uh, to the powerhouse it is connected so this is the diagram for surge tank and i have explained in this video surge tank spillway and types of dam thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video in the next topic